is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and I want to cover that story where John Boyega put the Episode 9 Rise of Skywalker script under his bed and somebody took it and went to sell it on eBay. This has been going around for the last two days or something like that now, and when I saw it, I was like, you know, okay, I, I guess so. And then I thought about it. When was the last time you put something really important like that under your bed? That's like me putting like 50 grand or like 30 grand under my bed. I'll just leave it under my bed. Oh, what the hell? Sounds like something people don't really do anymore. So that's why I think this story is probably fabricated to start up drama, stir up attention, and get all eyes on The Rise of Skywalker. I mean, maybe you put something under your bed like that's like not so important. Maybe, I don't know, like your video game collection, you shove it under your bed. Or whatever it is, like your Game of Thrones books you haven't finished reading yet, you shove it under your bed. You don't shove something like priceless and precious like that under your bed. I just don't think people do that anymore. That's all I'm saying, really. So, let's get into the story, and let me read what the original story was real quick. Original story. Despite Disney's infamously aggressive security measures, a leaked script from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker recently wound up on eBay. And according to director J.J. Abrams, one of the film's own cast was to blame, which we know was now John Boyega. And of course, he just came out and said it, which he didn't have to. So there's another tidbit of, you know, fishiness. So here's what John said. This is from IGN, by the way. I was like, I will leave it under my bed, and when I wake up the next morning, I'll take it and then move. But then my boys came over, and we started parting a little bit. And then the script, it just stayed there. And a few weeks after, this cleaner comes in, finds the script, and puts it on eBay for like 65 pounds. The person didn't know the true value, he said. John Boyega added, it was scary. I got calls from every official and said, as a joke, even Mickey Mouse called me, what did you do? Okay, here's the thing. So, John Boyega leaves a script under his bed when he's partying with his friends? That doesn't sound too smart. I mean, that isn't too smart. That's not my opinion. That's just not a smart thing to do. So, right there, seems like something he just said. Not to mention, he must have known a cleaning person was coming in. I mean... They could have gotten their hands on the script, right? It, the whole thing just seems a little funny the more I think about it. So let's see what JJ said. Fortunately or not, depending on your thoughts on spoilers, Abrams confirmed Disney was able to intervene and tank the eBay auction before the script successfully sold. I don't know, man. Is it really far-fetched to think that these guys just said, hey, let's create a little drama. You know what? The phrase goes, if there's no news, make news. And there is absolutely news, but... There's nothing wrong with making more and more news to stir things up. And when you think about it, hype for The Rise of Skywalker is very, very low. They need this stimulation. They need this attention. They need drama. They need people to go in and just get curious enough to see it. Like the Joker had such word of mouth, people who never really thought about seeing a movie like that went to see it. Because there were so many people who were like, oh, Joker, Joker, at my job where I work, I rarely, rarely hear people talk about movies, and you know what? People were talking about the Joker. So people who were saying the older bracket, maybe 60s, 50s, not so into this kind of stuff, were like, ah, oh, yeah, maybe I'll go check that out. And what do you know, it does a billion. So the Rise of Skywalker crew, cast, JJ, all these people are probably going to try to start up things to get word of mouth going for people who wouldn't normally like Star Wars to want to go see it. That's what I think. That's my opinion. John Boyega here, no offense really did not seem so smart. And I gotta reiterate, I don't think it's my opinion. If you've got something as precious as like, you know, one of the biggest movies of pretty much the decade, you could say, as far as like anticipation and size of franchise, you don't leave it under your bed. Sorry, that sounds weird to me. If you don't think that sounds weird, go ahead, explain yourself. Do you leave things under your bed? All right, I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't. Click it, press it, and I will see you next time. If you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.